Now this is keto form and this is in all form because it has a in group functional group and it has a all functional group. Now to decide the stability of keto and enol form this means I want to know which has more percentage so either we have more percentage of keto form or we have more percentage of enol form in the mixture. So we are interested in percentage of keto or enol form in the equilibrium mixture. That is a stability of keto form or enol form. So either we have keto form is more stable or enol form is more stable. A stability is directly proportional to percentage of keto or enol form. So a stability is directly proportional to percentage. So if we have more stable corresponding percentage will be more. Now to decide the stability of keto in all tautomerism we will use the three rules. First rule is in case of monocarbonyl compound in case of monocarbonyl compound keto form is more stable corresponding to enol form for example if I have this molecule this is keto form we can write in all form also this is the in all form so keto form is more stable and in all form is less stable So if I say keto form is x percentage in the equilibrium mixture and in all form is y percentage then x percentage is greater than y percentage. Now why this happens why keto form is more stable this can be explained on the basis of bond energy. So why we have different stability this can be explained on the basis of bond energy. So if I calculate total bond energy of keto form we will have 3 carbon hydrogen bond 1 carbon hydrogen bond here so we have 4 carbon hydrogen bond. So we are calculating bond energy of keto form. So 4 times carbon hydrogen bond that is we will have 4 times bond energy of carbon hydrogen bond so B denotes bond energy. And we will have 1 carbon carbon bond. bond energy of carbon carbon bond single bond and we will have one carbon oxygen double bond bond energy of carbon oxygen double bond
Now let us calculate bond energy of enol form. So this time we have three carbon hydrogen bond. So three times bond energy of carbon hydrogen bond plus one carbon carbon single bond, no double bond. So we have one carbon carbon double bond and we have one carbon oxygen bond and we have one oxygen hydrogen single bond. So this is oxygen hydrogen single bond. So let us find difference between bond energy of keto form minus bond energy of enol form. So this is difference between keto and enol form. So keto form we have four carbon hydrogen bond. In enol form we have three carbon hydrogen bond. So we will left one carbon hydrogen bond. Now in this case we have one carbon carbon bond. And in this case we have one carbon carbon double bond. So this will be minus. And then here we have one carbon oxygen double bond that is plus and here we have one carbon oxygen single bond and one oxygen hydrogen bond. Now if I plug all these bond energies data we find this comes out to be positive. So by plugging all the data we can find this comes out to be positive. This means keto form is more stable. So keto form so bond energy of keto form is higher than bond energy of enol form and that's why we are coming a positive value. This means keto form is more stable. Compared to enol form. because the more the bond energy corresponding molecule is more stable. So bond energy is directly proportional to a stability. More the bond energy this means more energy has been released to the surrounding. This means molecule becomes more stable. So bond energy means energy released when the molecule is formed so this is one rule in case of monocarbonyl compound keto form is more stable and the second rule is in case of more substituted alkyl in all content increases so we can say as the stability of alkene increases, a stability of alkene increases, percentage in all content increases.
फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल I have this in all form. I have this in all form, and I have this in all form. So this is one, two, three. So in this case, we have monosubstituted alkene. And this is a disubstituted. And this is trisubstituted. So this is trisubstituted. This is disubstituted. So more the stable alkene percentage in all form increases. So we can say third will have highest in all content and one will have lowest in all content. So percentage in all content we can say. Two has greater than one, and three has greater than two. So this is increasing order of in in all content. And third important point we have. in case of beta dicarbonyl compounds in all content is more stable or in all form is more stable due to hydrogen bonding so this is a dicarbonyl compound because it has two carbonyl group and this carbon is alpha with respect to this carbonyl group and this carbon is beta so we have a keto group at beta position so this is a beta dicarbonyl compound so we can write in all form so this is keto form this is in all form one can make in all form from this side also but that will be less stable now this in all form is resonance stabilized by hydrogen bonding so or you can say it's a hydrogen bonding stabilized so there is a hydrogen bond now this is a six member ring so we can show the same thing so due to formation of six member ring in all form is more stable due to hydrogen bonding that forms a six membered ring
in all form is more stable. So in this lecture we discussed a stability of ketoenol tautomerism. We can summarize in case of monocarbonyl compound keto form is more stable. In case of dicarbonyl compound if carbonyl group is attached at beta position in all form is more stable and if the stability of alkene increases in all content increases.